Hey, this is Gerald with Bass Kicking Adventures. I'm going to be fishing at this farm pond that a good friend of mine owns. And I'm very thankful that he gave me permission to fish out here. Nice day in North Carolina today. Supposed to get up about 70 degrees. A little windy. Beautiful time. I am using this little swim bait, little three inch swim bait. And I've got my Shimano SLX DC reel that I love. What is this like a good spot here? Yep, I got a feeling I'm getting ready to catch a bass, guys. little bridge right here looks great first guy here and there's one cold fish beautiful little bass Such a cool pond. You know, I'm, I'm always thankful that anytime somebody lets me fish and, at their pond, because nowadays people don't want to take care of other people's property. Therefore, Pond owners don't want to let people come on their property. 
but I'm not one of those people. And anybody that knows me knows that. I don't keep any fish. 100% catch and release. And I definitely don't litter. And I go a step farther than that. If I see trash that's not mine, I pick it up. And if more people would, would do that, you know, then I think pond owners would be more acceptable to the fact of letting people come and fish. But when you throw beer cans and candy wrappers on their property and kill their fish, you know, they don't like that too much. I don't blame them. Well, that rock looks good right there. Not a monster. I actually watched him come up and bite it. He took his time, thought about it, and then he took it right here at the bank. This swim bait right here. Alright guys, I'm going to switch up to the half ounce jackhammer here. Boy, that thing looks good going through the water.
Dios. Get that jackhammer right on the bank. It's probably it's probably three pounds, maybe a little more. All right, let's turn this baby loose. He just made my day. And I mean, he was sitting right on the bank. Uh, you can throw you can throw this SXL. I just got another one. Hold on. Alright guys. Second fish on the jackhammer. but he's pretty and they're always fun to catch no matter what size they are old jackhammer's doing me right today all right Alright guys, so if you've watched my videos the last few days, you know that I just bought this Shimano SLX DC uh, brand new a few days ago. And I absolutely love this reel, everything about it. But today, something else that I'm finding out about this reel is it is pretty windy out here today. There's especially, I've got some wind gust coming through that's very strong. And I have been casting this reel directly into the wind. And I mean, you don't even, you never, you never have an issue with it. Um, even casting directly into strong winds, no issue. I mean, sometimes if you cast into a strong wind with a bait caster, it may not backlash with you, but you'll have to pull some line out to tighten the line back up. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that with this reel. So, my last few videos, I've been going on and on and on about this reel. And, you know, once again today, I'm just so impressed with it. I know it's kind of expensive. It's the most expensive reel I've ever bought. I mean, I've been fishing with bait casters that you know i paid 45 dollars for and i mean i don't i don't you know i reeled in seven pound bass with those with those reels but i'm just telling you it's the difference in night and day fishing with you know a a lower end reel and something like this you know i guess the best comparison would be you know if you if you play baseball or softball and you go to Walmart and you buy a $20 bat 
versus going to Dick Sporting Goods and buying a $300 bat. I don't care how good of a batter you are, that $20 bat can't do what that $300 bat does. You might get some hits with that $20 bat, but it's not the same. And that's like comparing a, a budget bait caster versus this Shimano. So if it's in your budget, it's $189 on uh, Amazon. It was a little more than that, but they dropped the price down a couple days ago. But it's $189 on Amazon and at Bass Pro Shops. So if that's in your budget, just buy it. Trust me, you'll love it. And I've got I've got 30 pound cast king braid on mine. And I mean I I can cast this thing a country mile. Cool little homemade pontoon boat right there. a little deeper on this side but so far every fish I caught has been in shallow water I mean really shallow water well, I had a little bite there it felt like a tiny one Got him that time. Well, he ain't as small as I thought he was. Pretty little guy. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. It's pretty good, pretty good fishing adventure out here today. I appreciate you guys watching. If you would, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below if you got anything to say. And I will have more videos coming very soon. Thank you.